Good morning, friends, and welcome to Thursday, August 31st. Our Baker will start us with God of grace and God of glory. Thursday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline are written by Catherine Kelsey. And our scripture reading is Exodus 3, 10 to 15. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And he said, I will be with you. And this shall be the sign for you that it is I who sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God on this mountain. But Moses said to God, if, it comes to, if I come to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. And God also said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this my title for all generations. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So Moses has placed himself at the edge of the wilderness that was also the edge of the holy mountain, both places where one might meet God. But that doesn't mean that Moses is trusting God completely. As he receives this divine task, I will send you to Pharaoh, he tries twice to get some leverage with God, first as a sign and then a name. A sign would show the Hebrews that Moses and his God could be trusted because of God's power. A name would allow Moses to summon God when needed, but God does not give in to Moses' lack of trust. The sign that it is I who sent you will appear after the Hebrews have left Egypt, not before. Having first trusted that God was leading them through Moses, they will look back from their arrival at Mount Horeb and see that God had, in fact, been leading not wanting to argue that this sign would help, wouldn't help him get people to follow him, Moses asks for God's name. Surely he expects a concrete name like El Shaddai or God of the Mountains, a name that would locate and characterize who this is instead. The name doesn't fit with how we think about the past and the present and the future. I am who I am. But also, I am what I am, and also... I will be what I will be. Moses learns no more than he could already say. The God of your ancestors has sent me to you. Moses must decide what to do when he's charged to do. In our prayer time, we can notice what thoughts and desires are like those of Moses. When we notice, we can continue to choose to ask for greater trust and to call on the name of the one who sees and responds. Here I am, God who won't be pinned down. We have an, our attention. You have our attention because we trust you. And in this moment, help us to trust you more. Amen.
Our closing hymn is What Wondrous Love Is This? Sings to you all.